Hey, what's up everyone? It's DV and I'm back in Roblox Islands. And yeah, my favorite game is getting destroyed by dupers, but there's other games on Roblox to play while this is happening. So I wanted to give you a rundown of some alternative games that you could check out while this chaos is happening, because I have to tell you, my guess is they're on vacation, but I did hear that some other staff are looking into it in the meantime. So hopefully they'll be able to get it resolved at some point soon here. But in the meantime, I don't know about you, but I need another game to play for a little bit. I'm really struggling because this is my favorite game on Roblox. So it's really hard to come up with anything that's comparable to islands honestly i've gone through the list i've spent hours trying to contemplate and looking at other games and honestly islands is just special it's even better than bedwars like oh look i i love playing bedwars bedwars is a ton of fun but it's it's like comparing apples to oranges like you're talking about a fighting game versus a building game they're completely different that's like comparing legos to nerf guns think about that just for a moment <laughs> yeah i just compared legos to nerf guns and roblox that's right i did it i did it i had to but yeah you can't really compare them you you know, one is meant for fighting, the other is for building. All joking aside, Islands is really special, like I said, because it has unique features that aren't really found anywhere else. Think about this, vending machines. Obviously, you know, this nonsense is going on. I'm not even gonna go through, like there's duped items, duped, duped, duped everywhere right now. But the cool thing about this game is that you can go to these published islands. What other game can you do that? I mean, not many, right? Maybe Blocks and a couple other games that have published capabilities. You think about it, what other games have vending machines that you can buy and sell from? It's a really unique feature to Islands on Roblox, completely centered around around shops. But what about some other games that you could play? So I'm gonna take you through a list here of other games on Roblox that you can play based on your favorite aspect of islands because not everyone plays islands for the same reasons. You know, some people play islands for building, some people play islands because they like grinding, they like killing mobs maybe, you know, so if you like battling mobs, there's really great games that have similar gameplay where you're battling mobs and dungeons and such. There's some great building games, there's some great farming games, there's some great mining games, there's a couple great factory games on Roblox, and ultimately there's some really good trading games as well. So if you're into trading collecting and such and a lot of players play this game because they like collecting limiteds so i'm going to go through all of these games for you so you have an idea of some other games you can play while we're waiting for this duping nonsense to get fixed because they will fix it be sure to hit that like button by the way and subscribe if you haven't already and just so you know i am not quitting islands i know that's a big question a lot of people are wondering just because i'm going to be playing a lot of other games for a while and not islands doesn't mean I quit the game, okay? I do love the game. I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with the devs. I believe in them. I've seen their future plans. They've shared them with me. I think they're great. I think it's a really great vision. And um, I, I can't, obviously I can't say anything about their plans, but I will tell you the devs know what they're doing and they have a lot of integrity to not leave us and abandon us. So shout out to the devs as much as I'm mad at them right now for not replying to me on Discord. I really do truly believe in them and I will stick with them. First, we're going to talk about two games that are overall very similar to Islands. If you're you're looking for something that's kind of like a similar taste of islands but has some unique features and is just a little different i would definitely check out a couple of these games here first off is stranded so stranded came around a while back it was by my friend jesse and his friend's studio and so he has this great game that he built with them and it's a lot like islands but not exactly like islands okay so it doesn't have this whole trading economy there's not even trading to my knowledge i think you can kind of try it you can kind of get around and trade some items here and there but it literally you start off with your own island you can build factories farms auto farms you can do mob farming which is really cool i thought that feature was great i wish islands had that so you can actually put mob spawners on your island and such they also have really great mining they have cool dungeons they have everything pretty much that island has except for like i said the big trading economy and coin grinding so if you're looking for a game that you can actually grind coins in islands is the one that still has that and i think that's why stranded was not very successful honestly was that not only did they have a lot less items but they also had no economy there is literally no economy I mean, there's no point in ever grinding on your farm. There's never any point to grind, you know, outside of there to like selling and such. So it really lacked, I think, a huge feature that Islands really had, which was the, you know, trading economy as well as coins. So again, you know, being able to buy and sell stuff was huge, huge, huge in Islands, but Stranded just missed the mark there. And I think if they were to add that, and I told that, I would tell that to the devs and I told that to Jesse as well. And uh, I wish they would go back and add that because I think it would have a fighting chance if they did. Um, I think the reason why they didn't do that is they saw the duping issue in Islands last year and they didn't want to have that same issue with their game and, and by the way all of these games i'm going to be mentioning now are going to be linked in the description 
I'm not encouraging you to quit Islands. Again, like I said, these are just games you can play while you're frustrated with the dupes. Now, next up here is a game that's kind of dead, honestly. Similar situation as Stranded. And I think it's because this game just didn't get enough, um, I think, understanding from players. But it's a game called Factions. And Factions is basically another game that was kind of inspired by the factions inside Minecraft. There's a lot of Minecraft terminology in this game. And what's really cool is it's all about factions and going PvP and doing raids against each other. So you can raid each other's farms, you can raid each other's bases, you you know, upgrade your base, you get better weapons, you get better gear, you get better crops, crops give you more money, you can upgrade your crops, you can upgrade your, you know, base and such. And it was a really cool idea. And um, Crack did a really, really good job with this game. And since then, he's released a lot of other games. But this game was just really, really fun. So it has the farming aspects, it has a lot of, you know, aspects of islands, I think, but it's not identical. It's just a nice overall game similar to islands, especially if you're looking for like a nice Minecraft style, high quality Minecraft style game. Definitely check out Factions. It's a really fun game. I will link it in the description. Next up, if you're really into grinding mobs in islands, you know, so obviously we all like killing the different mobs like Slime King, Slimes and such. You know, we got the Buffalo Core and all that. So if you're really into that kind of aspect of gameplay, there's a couple games you should check out. First up, definitely check out World Zero. World Zero is a game that my friend Sister Guard plays a ton of. I've played it. I've made a video on my second channel for it. In fact, I might go back and start playing it again because a lot of my friends are playing it right now and because they just released guilds, I guess, and some other, you know, really cool features. So, and they have like a really cool dungeon system. But what's great about that game is you can go around and it's kind of like Bed Wars kits. They have like kind of different classes and character classes you can be. And they got really cool mounts and you can go and do dungeons and such. It's a lot of fun. It, it's missing some of the building aspects that I like about Islands. It's missing a lot of pieces of Islands. So I don't really, I can't really get into it yet, but it's a really good game, like I said. And you might catch me over there every now and then. And of course, an OG out of the list is Dungeon Quest. I know it's been a while. The game kind of died and it is an older game. It's much older than World Zero and World Zero, I think, was very much inspired by Dungeon Quest. They have like really cool rarity loot drops and such. So if you're really into trading, they have a really great trading community. Lots of dungeons you can run over and over and over and get uh, better gear for yourself. And of course, you know, you can flex and such. So it's a really good game. And if you're into mining like ore and such, there's a new game that's kind of hidden. It's also somewhat inspired by Bee Swarm Simulator and it's called Crystal Valley. I was making a video on this and I will probably still make another video on this. Um, it, I, I kind of made it before I left for my vacation and I think it's kind of dated now. So I might make another one here for my second channel. I'm not sure, but I want you to check this game out because it is a lot of fun if you're into grinding. Now it is a simulator. I will tell you that it has very much simulator things. So if you're not into simulators, you're not really going to like this game, but I, I liked it because it had a really solid quest system. Yeah, it was heavily inspired by Bee Swarm Simulator. And if you're into Bee Swarm Simulator, just go play that, of course. But Crystal Valley wasn't about bees. It was more about mining and such. And I had a lot of fun playing it. So definitely check it out. They have a really great quest system, like I said, and I had a lot of fun just farming. So definitely check this game out if you haven't already. Next up on factories, if you're really into factories in islands, I would recommend checking out Factory Simulator. And there's a lot of things that are very similar to islands in this game, you know, as far as factories go. And I think it's because both were kind of inspired by the same game. But Factory Simulator is just a really fun game. Again, it's just a factory simulator. And so you can basically create a bunch of conveyors. You can hook them up to like different like types of resources and you could chain them together to make like specific parts and stuff. So there's lots of chaining of factories. You can also do multi-levels and such. It's really fun. Um, I would say it's, you know, Islands is obviously still better in this regard, but there's a lot of things that it does really well and it's just fun. I've, I've grinded it a lot and uh, I've made a ton of videos on it. So, and there's a huge community in that. There's just no trading. So definitely check that game out if you are into factories. Next up with farming. So if you're really into farming on Islands, I mean, there's a lot of different games that have farming on Roblox but I will tell you the best game that I really liked is Farming and Friends and it's huge. It's a lot like Lumberyard Tycoon 2 but the difference is instead of it being lumber it's really it comes down to farms and you know in fact I think Factory Simulator is a lot like Lumber Tycoon as well. I just come to think of it but it, you know it's just a different style altogether. But yeah this this game is a lot of fun. Definitely check it out. You got like different tractors. You got you know plows. You got seed you know basically seed planters. You got all kinds of different vehicles you can get. You got different crops you can buy. The crops you know and then they you can can sell those crops for different amounts and such and it's just a really cool game in fact i did a video on my second channel for that and that thing got that thing blew up that video was crazy so i've been meaning to get back to it it's just a lot of fun to play so check it out i will link it in the description again farming and friends next up is buying and selling items there's not a lot of there's not a lot of games that do this and when i ask people if there are games that are kind of like islands vending they often they just give me like games that have trading and that's completely different trading is not the same as buying and selling um, buying and selling means i've got a you know store that you can visit and 
I'm buying from you and I'm selling things pretty much passively, not actively, meaning I've got a bunch of stuff for selling a vending machine you can run up to. Now, the closest game that I have for this would be my restaurant. Um, my restaurant does have a marketplace that's really cool. And, um, you know, yeah, they had some like issues at one point. I think they even had duping at one point. But uh, my restaurant's really cool because you can go to this, you know, center marketplace. And I, I recommended the devs do something like this a while back, you know, because we really need something like it, I think, in islands. But now that we have like vending machines, trading, I don't know that we really need it. But it's kind of like Hypixel. Even Hypixel has a system like this, the bazaar, where you can list your items and then people can buy it offline and such. So you don't have to be online while people are buying and selling to you. So check out my restaurant if you're into the buying and selling aspect. Another look at this is if you're into the collecting aspect and trading, kind of similar, you know, maybe you are just really into collecting and selling. Pet Simulator X is really where a lot of players from islands left. A lot of the OG buyers and sellers from islands, they went over to Pet Simulator X and they're buying and selling there. They're trading limiteds and such. And they're having a lot of fun doing that. Um, you know, most of them are just active in the trading areas. I would say also, you know, there's other games with really good trading economies like that. But, you know, if you're really looking for a game that's like more current, um, Pet Simulator X has a huge community. They have like 200,000 players that are always on there. Lots and lots of engagement for trading. In fact, I have a trading channel on my Discord. If you want to check that out, go to my Discord at discord.gg slash dbplays. And I do have an active Pet Simulator X trading community. I also like the community and it really comes down to it is a great game. It's well designed. The pets are cool looking. I just, it's just kind of a passive game, you know, where you're inactive and AFK a lot. So that's why I can't really find it as being one of my main or primary games that I want to play. I like games like Islands. I want this game to be just fixed and to receive love that it deserves. And we'll, I think we'll get there. So just give them a little bit of time, but I think we're going to get there. If they don't, then yeah, I'm going to put my foot down at some point and say, dudes, you need to, you need to smell the coffee here and I will find you and tell you to update your game. Next up, the biggest thing that I play Islands for is building. So what are some games that are like this that have cool sandbox style building? So first up, I will tell you one, uh, you know, you're thinking build a boat for treasure. Yeah, yeah, that's on my list. Same with, you know, build a boat to survive. I don't, those those games don't really need descriptions. If you haven't checked those games out, just go check them out and go check out my friend Jesse TC who has one of the biggest build a boat for treasure like channels ever. Um, but I, I really like the game. It's a fun game. Check it out. If you want to build stuff, build a boat for treasure is a great place to play. In fact, a lot of Islands players play both games so check it out next up obviously stranded has some building aspects very similar we already covered that game i won't go into that one but that one has building aspects blocks is another game that you can check out blocks is kind of like just a building block game so essentially it's like being in creative mode and you could just kind of build whatever I, uh, I i don't know i i think it's cool if you're just kind of doing like voxel art but it's it's okay it's just it depends on what you're into if you're just doing some pixels you know if you're just doing like blocky art and statues and stuff it's cool another game you could check out is playing crazy and that is a plane building game similar to build a boat for treasure the difference is you're making planes and such and you can also do like cars and all kinds of other, other types of vehicles so check that out um if you're into making vehicles they got like motors it's kind of like like i said build a boat for treasure but but not on water it's more land-based or flying and it's pretty cool the physics are interesting so like if you mess up your plane you can't fly um so check the game out if you're really into like the engineering aspects of building and lastly i want to mention a couple of like special games that i really like i think they're they might be paid access only i'm not sure but the game names are itty bitty airport which is a really fun building game you can build your own airport and kind of facility and uh, you can build whatever you want it's insane but my favorite out of all of them has to be itty bitty railway it is so much fun i made like this crazy looking mountain and like created tunnels and such for my railway and it was just really cool you can even get like infinite cash if you just want to build so it's kind of like creative mode because you have unlimited money or you can make money by doing like you know basically deliveries to different uh, railways stations on your own railway again just a really fun game to play i really liked it it was fun because you know they have different types of blocks you can paint you can do all kinds of stuff to the water and you can make like a pirate island you can make like a space like station you can make a moon station you can make a city station people were getting really really creative with these builds and i just felt like i was at home like i was in islands but with railroads so check that game out if you haven't already i would highly recommend it even the robux if it does cost i don't know if it costs anything i think one of them is free so definitely check both of them out Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you and it gives you a couple other ideas for what to play, especially for those of you that have told me that you can't play Islands anymore because it's too laggy or, you know, it doesn't work on your mobile phones or devices anymore. So hopefully that'll help you and it'll give you something else to play while we're waiting for dupes to get fixed in this game. Like I said, give the devs a chance and give them some time. It's the holidays. This is a great time for everyone to be 
be, you know, with their families. And so just, just be patient. Of all people, I'm telling, I'm talking to myself too, by the way. I'm really impatient. I'm kind of screaming inside right now for them to fix it. But, you know, that is what it is. And I can't speed them anymore along other than starting to bribe them. Maybe I send them like some donuts or something or I'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do for them. Anyway, thanks again. And I'll see you all next time. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.